Hi guys! Hey guys! What's going on? How's it going? Good! How are you? Good. Good! Alright! So guys, this is our new segment. It's called Questions well, with the Voice. Yeah! Or another awesome. original name. If that you can we're pick find. a name for us, that'd be great. You could just do that in thing. In the comments at the bottom. I've always wanted to do this. There we go. Yay! Cool. <laughs> so basically, it's just gonna be questions <laughs> that you guys are gonna ask to us. Right? And we're gonna read them to you. I'm gonna answer them as fast as we can and as much as we can. Yeah. With as much accuracy as we can, right? Yeah! Cool. Woo! Number one. If you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would it be? This question comes from Angela Yessa. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Angela Yessa, for giving us this awesome question. Uh, if I had to go to one place in the world, I would go without a doubt to Egypt. One of my favorite countries. Cool. Master Omedonia. Master Omedonia. So well, shout out to all my Egyptian fans. I just recently came back from Sydney, Australia, and I fell in love with it. Woo! I'll definitely go back because my friends there are my definitely my cousin Abanol. Nice. Shout out. We know more about you guys than than we should, but we pretty much know everything I'm sorry. about you guys. He's <laughs> told us everything. Is, we know all your names, where you live, and everything you've done every single day. So I'm just being honest. Well, yeah. He basically told us everything. Anyways, so I'll go to Egypt. I would Ooh. probably go to Egypt. But with a stopover somewhere in Europe in like an exotic yes. place. Backpacking back cool. through Europe, that's pretty cool too. Number two, what is your top five favorite bands? Christine mm. Halim asks us this question. Well, thank you, Christine Halim, for that awesome question. My top five bands are number one, Bethel. Number two, Jesus Culture. Number three, Gateway Worship. Number four, Elevation Worship. And number five, The Newsboys. Nice. Matt. All right, so number one is Bethel, two, Jesus Culture, three, Carrie Job and her band. She's not a band, but she's okay, a she's band. A, no. She's a band. And Four. A band. <laughs> she is a band. Four, Elevation Worship, and five, shout out to Sydney, New York, and London, Hill Songs. And Paris and Hong Kong. And yeah, Japan. and that's South it. Africa. Yes, they do. Those yeah, cool. United to be specific. Bethel for me, definitely number one. Jesus Culture, number two. IHOP, Kansas, number three. I love these guys. Uh, Carrie Job, I'm a great, She's still big, a lot of band. huge fan. She's a band. No? Whatever. A band uh, I not... respect her as okay. an artist. She sings. She worships, sorry, with in, the band. In the band. With the band. Well, she's a band. So well, she's she, a band. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, five. I like it's just her. named after her. There I, just, we go. I like her album. Anyways, exactly. number, number five, I said was maybe it's something like not everyone would think about. Is like, it's like, it's Hillsong actually number five. But I mean, what I was thinking of <laughs> was Worship Mob. Nice. Worship Mob would be kind of like an honorable mention, I guess, to the number five. It's pretty awesome. Shout out to them. Literally never heard of them, but. Number three. What are your thoughts on penguins? Asks Angela Yessa. Angela Yessa, your well. questions never cease to amaze me. Um, my thoughts on penguins. Um, penguins are cool. I like that they're birds, and I like that they can't fly. So I don't know if that really you makes like them that? a bird. You like how they can't fly? Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like how they waddle. I love Happy Feet. That's my favorite movie. movies you ever. You just took away what I wanted to see. So, okay, all right. Sweet. Well, besides Happy Feet and the Feet of Happiness. Well, that's all I really know about penguins, Happy Feet. I watch it with my mommy and... I like, I like, like, how... I, <laughs> I think penguins are one of the only, like, wild animals that, like, always have, like, returned to the same mate and mate again. So I kind of like that about the penguins. Yeah. I don't know how that is. <laughs> how do you know that? I watched Earth Happy Feet four. and I watched Earth Number and I four. Really know, but okay, <laughs> sure. If you could be anything in the world and money didn't matter, what would you be? Sandra Alfaki oh asks us this question. Okay, I can't go first for this one. I don't know what to say. You can go first. Eric, go. Mm, probably be like some kind of a missionary. Okay. Uh, did I steal it? Literally. A worship like, missionary. How about that? Okay. Oh, there we go. I'll, I'll definitely, definitely, definitely go over to Africa and anywhere that needs Christ, which is the whole world. So Literally. definitely be a missionary around the whole world. That's pretty cool. I would be, if money didn't matter, because these type of servants don't make much money, but I would be a pastor that's also a missionary who plants uh, churches all around the world and worships, so that's pretty much it. So you th took ours and then like added Basically, pastor, yeah. And just added pastor, because yeah. Which is great, actually. I love Which it. is pretty cool. I love it. Absolutely. Cool. But like, we're down to our last question. 
Oh, we can man. do this. Number five. If the whole world was listening, <laughs> what would you say? Rhoda Goriel asks us this question. Shout outs to my little sister Rhoda. That's, that's her, his little sister. That's my little sister. Love you, Rhoda. She's also got an amazing voice. Amazing voice. Amazing voice. Very anointed. She yeah. Is, she's very anointed. Yeah. Okay. So that's enough talking about my little sister. She would be number seven on our top five bands. But like, yeah. Band, she's yeah. like, she's definitely a band. She's not. A she band. is a band. Why is she a band? I don't know. She's my little sister, and that's. Well, okay. Sure. I see how it is. <laughs> Either way. So All right. Like, well. If the world was listening. If the world was say? listening, which it kind of is, because this is kind of going on YouTube, so technically the world is listening. Nonetheless, it has a potential. I tell you one thing, and as corny as this may sound, um, and we're making a lot of jokes and everything like that, but if I were to, to give one piece of advice or, you know, just put something out there, see, a lot of people nowadays think that they've got to change themselves to come to Christ. And they feel like, you know, in order for me to start coming to church or in order for me to start, you know, worshiping God mm -hmm. or whatever, then I've got to change myself. I've got to, you know, stop doing the bad things I do and then come to Christ. But I would tell you that you can't change yourself with yourself. And if you could, then we wouldn't even need a savior. Exactly. So I'd say, come to God as you are. That's, that's probably my piece of advice, yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. All the questions, they took my answer. But, you know, I'll definitely say the same thing. <laughs> definitely, I'll say that Christ is our savior. He, he, all he wants is to have a relationship with you. Absolutely. He's not looking for you to be perfect because you'll never ever be perfect, like Romney said. And we just, he just wants us to go out there just to communicate with him and just show his, show, show love to him and he, he'll show love to us. And he, he's just amazing. That's, that's all it really is, awesome. you know? And, um, and just worship and just, just have a relationship with him. That's pretty much what it is. And that's definitely what I would say. Nice. I think you guys stole my idea as well. But I mean, I think the general picture is that like we, we, we all are in need of Jesus and we're all in need Absolutely. of a savior Absolutely. and none of us are born perfect and we can't like change ourselves and make ourselves perfect. And that's why we literally need a savior. And some of us think, okay, well, like, I don't know, maybe why does it, why, why do I need Jesus? Why not like anyone else? But um, I'm a strong believer in the Bible and I'm also a strong believer in what Jesus has done personally in my life And he has literally changed my life Absolutely. from from black to white like it was night and day difference And that's something that that no one can take away from me or no one can discredit So guys Jesus loves you guys so 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 much and this is what my channel is about and you guys know that very well I love to worship God we love to worship God as a family as as brothers Tell us about our all youth team are well you amazing things happening it's awesome and also let's take this opportunity right now just to remember december 19 whoever you are wherever you are if you guys want to come out to rivers of life youth it's on december 19 we're having a christmas event it's going to be awesome so come check it out have a good time with friends and family and just check it out all right awesome guys. 4110 chestwood drive downsview ontario it's going to be written somewhere somewhere there again i've always wanted to do this I'm write it up here. here. Or, you know, like it. Oh, why are you smelling me? <laughs> I don't know why he's smelling me. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching our... Where are you Stay going? Stay blessed, people. Where are you going? Say goodbye. Oh